Hi everyone, welcome along. Today we're going to look at a piece of hi-fi equipment that's got a long-standing status with me uh, and it's the Lin Sondek LP12 turntable. Here is the book list I originally got with the Lin when I bought it. Quite old now, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> look at that. And the Lin. And the, the usual little bird that was always the main thing that came to light about record decks. And that's this little paragraph here. The turntable as a carrier and the cartridges was more complex than was previously thought. Basically, rubbish in, rubbish out, quality in, quality out, and it all begins with the record deck. And that is Mo barking in the background trying to crash my Lin video. Mo, here is the prices as of 82. Although I actually bought mine in 79, this is a, a later price list. Uh, I got this because I bought the Itok Tone Arm. And even back then you can see how much money that was and how expensive it was. Uh, the deck when I bought it was actually 289 I believe in 1979. Round about that price. I got a little bit of change from £300. That was a lot of money back then. So this was an expensive bit of kit. Uh, but does it still perform? Yes it does. Let's have a look at it now. Here she is then, the old Lin Sondek LP12 transcription turntable. Yeah, there she be, and say since 1979, it's given sterling service, it still is. Uh, it's had many updates over the years, of course. It's obviously now got the Lin Itok arm, as I say, it was bought later. And it's got a, a newer Dyna Vector cartridge in there, so moving magnet one, medium kind of quality. Not the very, very best, but not bad either. Without, I use a, a Riga preamp and basically straight into the amplifier. So let's have a look at the Lin. Let's have a look a bit closer. Now, this platter is the most important bit, I think, with a kit. Take this little felt mat off. It's not a lot of good. <laughs> it does seem to be a lot of good, but that's all I recommend. And if we've got a platter, this platter is heavy. Man, it's heavy. <laughs> There you are, as you can see, the belt goes around the motor there, and basically there's not much else to it. You take the belt off, now it plays at 33, if you want to play 45s, no we don't just switch a button, not with the LP12, we don't just click something over and away it goes, no we have to take this belt off, <laughs> I know, sounds mad, isn't it? but this is old tech days, you know, and then we have this little device here, which has to go over the motor there, push down, and then this belt, this is the 45 belt because it's a bit stretched, has to go around there. And there it is with the 45 RPM adapter on. So I want to play singles, I have to change this all over <laughs> just to play a single. But I've got quite a few old 80s 12 inch extenders and they do sound, believe me, very, very good indeed. We'll have a little close up of the arm there, as you can see. There it is, the Linear Talk. Two and a great arm it is too. I say my preamplifier for the record deck stage is this little beauty here by Riga. It's a great little preamp. Well, it's quite big actually. If <laughs> it goes back quite a long, it's quite a heavyweight bit of kit. It sounds really, really good. And all of that goes into my trusty name amplifier, which in turn emerges out of these little neat iota speakers they look small they are but they sound marvelous so i guess some of you are probably thinking uh, you know i don't do digital at all but you'd be quite wrong i haven't given up on digital i've had compact displays for years uh, to that end i have this cambridge audio CD player I've had for some time, it does good service in Azure there. Uh, and I also have a, a Stream Magic 6, which is a Cambridge Audio equipment again, a DAC Magic 6. This streams files through from the PC uh, and from this little hard drive that I've got stuck on top of there with all my music on it. It's, it's all my CDs ripped, about 500 CDs ripped onto that there, which I can play through here. And for convenience, you know, it really is good because you just whack it on and leave it going. Obviously with records, it's a different kind of ball game. But in terms of sound quality, I'm afraid the ticket has to go still to the Lin. Okay, that's about it. Just a quick one from me. Someone asked about the Lin, and I thought I'd give you a little review on 
my record deck from the 70s and it's still going strong. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.